My very first experience with, with, with prolonged fasting and fasting in general was 2002. But then in around 2007, 2008, I came out with my very first ebook, which was the Lean Hybrid Muscle Program. And I included one day of fasting in there. And people were freaking the fuck out because back then, you know, we didn't know as much as we know about fasting as we do now. But I had learned about this one day of fasting or this uh, eat, stop, eat method. If you're if I'm going to reference uh, Brad Pilon. Actually, I heard it first by studying the work of Ori Hoffmeckler and he called it the warrior diet. So you can look up those two resources, eat, stop, eat by Brad Pilon as well as The Warrior Diet by Ori Hoffmeckler. But back in 2007, it wasn't really a uh, mainstream thing yet. But I included it in the program uh, because I knew that it was going to get people incredible results, body transformation results. And a few years later, when my YouTube videos started to become very popular, uh, I, I implemented fasting once again for myself two days a week, and that was when I was, I was really lean back in like 2013, 2014, and, uh, and because I knew just how powerful fasting was. So I was using it for, not for religious or spiritual or metaphysical gains at the time, I was doing it for straight up vanity, for looking good, because I knew I was gonna be taking my shirt off on these videos. One of the things that's really fascinating is taking a look at all the uh, before and after pictures on your website <laughs> and on the, uh, <laughs> man, it's, it's mind blowing how quickly these people are going from obese to lean on your website <laughs> yeah. and in your Instagram, man. So what, in order to get that kind of transformation through fasting, what do you recommend? You know, I'm talking about obese people cause those are the biggest transformations. What do you recommend they do? So, um, one thing for sure is consistency. So, what I usually do if I'm coaching somebody, it's just you now there's so many different fasting routines you can run on somebody. But let's say the average fat fucking female in the United States that's doing nothing, like the average fat woman that is completely sedentary. What I would do with her is I would have her the very first fast, I would basically get her to do 72 hours minimum. Okay, so gun to your head 72 hours. You're not going to die. Okay. <laughs> and, and then if she feels good at 72, 96 hours. If she feels good at 96, 120 hours, and so on and so forth until that first fast just finally taxes her. So right off the bat, I make them take pictures. I don't help anybody that hasn't taken pictures because that's the slap in the face they need right off the bat, or else they won't even fucking, they won't, they'll just quit. Okay. So I make them strip down down there butt naked, take pictures, put them up on my snake diet motivation group in front of like 200,000 members, right? And then they, then it's like they don't want to be that person anymore because they just face this huge fear of judgment, okay? Just this massive embarrassment. Like, I've destroyed my fucking body my whole, my whole life. Like, I need to change. This is disgusting. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and so then, I, then the next step, once they take the pictures, the next step is just breaking their fear of fasting. So that's what I do with that first 72 hours, which is long enough to force ketosis almost every time, but I'll go longer. And if they feel taxed, you know, like really getting taxed where the sleep gets really shitty, but a lot of times the sleep might be bad at the start, just going through like addictions as well. But um, if they start to have issues, then we'll break the fast. And then at that point, I'll get them to do some sort of a, a routine that's consistent to like actually get in check because a lot of times what happens is people fucking yo-yo like i've had women fast you know 12 days 20 days and then they just come off the fast and fuck it all up so that's <laughs> why you know that's why i love people that actually could do one meal a day strict for like say a prolonged period of time because those people are very easy to coach because if they've been doing one meal a day strict strict meaning actually watching calorie count and not overeating i can take that person and bust them through a longer fast and once they beat that fear of fasting, it's very easy for them to stick to like a 72 hour regimen. And then you're just melting fat like fucking crazy. And then usually I'll get them to, if they're really fat and sedentary, I'll just have me like 500 calorie refeeds on 72 hours. And if they're fat, obviously I will cut carbs, right? Like I, I don't promote a ketogenic diet like long term, but I will use like carnivore and keto macros and shit like this as therapeutical diets short term but I won't ever promote like long-term 
a ketogenic diet, which is essentially, you know, like 25% protein and basically fat, like it's, it's unnecessary. So I'll cut them on, on some sort of a protocol sometimes like that, where it's super low carb, 500 calorie feeds, 72 hours minimum, and then they'll just melt. And then once they get leaner, then we might go to 48s on the 72 hour fast, get hard. And then once they get too hard on the 48s, the, like those are too hard to even accomplish and you're down to eating a meal a day. Simple. 